Hello everyone. So for my hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat series for the impact effects, I was doing some research and I did uh, detect. I saw that uh, for the impacts in this Mortal Kombat games, we have this uh, sort of circle-like impact effect. It's not actually that much clear in real time. So I just turned the speed down and now you see here so it's not even it doesn't even make contact but you see the impact power effect is spawned here so see the blood is very cool but this impact effect that's what like delivers the instant impact so I thought of implementing that in my combat system and this is what I could achieve there is a similar type of effect uh, if I slow down the time you will see it more clearly see so yeah that's what I'm gonna work on today let me do a uppercut. Okay. Uh. All right. So let's see how to implement that defect today. okay so for that first i need a texture so i'm gonna head back to photoshop and actually i thought of sharing like how do i how would i go about creating such a texture so i'm not a actually an expert in these things i just know few things in photoshop so let's see how can i manage that so first i'll turn this background layer i'll make it uh, black so that I can clearly see the effect and I need to find the center so this is 124 by 124 so the middle is at 512 alright now here we have the middle uh, now I need sort of like a star like effect so let's the pen tool okay maybe we need a single line rather than a dotted line right and let's set a few points so that we can give it a shape like this All right. Hope this would do. Okay. Uh, now I'll make it fill. So we have a shape like this. And uh, these are not pointy, but I guess that would be fine. So I'm just going to add a uh, radial blur oh we need to convert it to a smart object and i'm gonna keep the zoom blur method and paste amount should be a bit higher so let's go for 100 oh it looks a bit off here so 
we need to again modify the shape because it has to be pointing outward from the center otherwise it won't work properly Well, let's try this thing. That will do. Okay, uh, I did a bit of a bit more editing. So yeah, now uh, well, I think uh, we need a bit less transparent this one, otherwise it would be too prominent. And then we need few circles. So let me select the circle tool and create one okay it should be centered obviously right and not a dotted line that also needs to be a white line like this maybe Twenty or ten, and here also let's add a radial blur effect. Mm, no, maybe like 50 okay now I don't need a full circle so let's add a mask here equip the brush and hide some areas Like this right now duplicate it and contract it give some rotation all right again duplicate it expand it give some rotation that so again duplicate expand give some more rotation okay I think this would be good enough wait hold on maybe this the outermost layer is not required otherwise these spikes don't expand outward from them so yeah let's keep them okay and we can go back here or if we want we can paint some white so we can have some more revealed and if we need we can black use black to hide some areas okay I guess this should be enough now I'll hide this uh, black layer because we don't need it and save save as impact.png wait right 
okay that part is done now let's go back here uh, I'll import the impact texture looks like this let's create a material from it M impact FX I'll name this one D impact okay let's open the material so this is what we have uh, I'll convert this material to uh, unlit and instead of opaque I'll make it additive so connect emissive color to emissive color uh, RGB to emissive color and opacity like this so this is what we get if I cannot do a plane this is what we see so now to get the properties so color controls from the material sorry from the Niagara effect I'll use particle color and multiply the main color with the particle color and multiply the alpha with the alpha of particle color okay apply now here we have an sponge right now here uh, at the moment we only have the simple the sprite burst like this so here I'll add another what simple sprite burst okay I'll name it as impact texture and here as the material I'll add this M impact effects see now you already see that um, what's the rate oh it's one good we only need one and and initialize uh, maybe we need a very small lifespan so random range float 0.1 to 0.4 okay uh, now how does the scale color works here all right I'll change it to a shape like this all right and um, we need to scale it up the scale sprite size how do we need to scale maybe something like this yeah we should start from zero and go to one um i'm not sure maybe let's go to something like four right but we need to set the initial size random and four 10 to 20. seems good but still a bit off uh, maybe we should set this uh, like spontaneously appear right Scale also, how about 
six. That seems good. Okay. Let's save this and see how it looks in the real time. No. I feel it's slow. Let's try point three. Maybe bigger. For that I haven't added any uh, impact effects. So yeah, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. If I slow down the time, you will see the effect like that. Okay. All right. So it doesn't look exactly similar to this because as i can see these rings are a bit different a bit advanced but i don't really know how to do the exact thing in unreal yeah sorry in photoshop but this has to do for now so thanks for watching as always project files will be available in the patreon page for the download and link would be in the description below if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon file See you in another episode. Bye-bye.